I've got something cool for you guys today. I'm going to be showing you how to complete the Shadows of Evil main Easter egg solo in under one minute. This is using a special mod menu, and I don't believe there's been a public mod menu for completing this main Easter egg. The only one I've seen that does this has been private, but now it's being made public, so it's available for you guys to download. The reason I wanted to do this is because it could help with hunting the impossible Easter egg. I'm thinking it's probably not going to help, but I wanted to give us as much of a chance as possible. And if nothing else, this advanced mod menu is just really cool. So I got in touch with one of the most talented scripters in the community, Anthony, AKA Sirius. You may have heard of him recently. He's been the one solving all the impossible Easter eggs on Black Ops 4. I spoke to him and I let him know like what we're dealing with, with this impossible Easter egg. And he was kind enough to upload his mod tool to the workshop and he did it just for us. So huge shout out to him. And unfortunately this is only for PC and Steam. If you head to the workshop in Black Ops 3, you can search it. It's going to be Catalyst and then Shadows of Evil mod menu. It's got this top tier thumbnail right here, so you're definitely not going to miss it. Just hit subscribe and you'll be good to go. Once downloaded, you'll just go into the mods, load that thing up, and then I'll show you guys how to open up the menu and use it. This is one of the easier mod menus to use. I really like this one. Some of the other ones require like button combinations to open, and this one's just straightforward. And if you're not using a controller, he recommends to go into the interact settings and change these keybinds to this. This is going to make it easier to access. So we made this really user friendly. If you want to open the menu, you just hit up on the D-pad. And then when you're scrolling up and down, you just continue to use the D-pad up and down. And then some of the options have multiple selections. So you'll use the left right D-pad to toggle through those. So it's super easy. Then using the interact button is gonna allow you to activate the mods and then to back out of certain menus or to completely close the menu, you just hit the circle button or melee or whatever you have that set to. And this menu has menus within menus within menus. There's a lot you can do with this. And if you want to do the main Easter egg, I'll show you how to get to that within the menu. Just open it up, hit up on the D-pad, and then use the D-pad to toggle down to map mods. You'll hit interact to open that, and then you'll toggle down further. You can see that one line right there. It says complete Easter egg. There's multiple steps, so you can just do some of the steps, or you can do all of them, but you do have to do them one at a time. You can also just do stuff like grab the summoning key and then start doing all the other steps, but yeah, all you have to do is hit the button and it starts activating and completing each of the steps. The mod menu covers the seven steps. You'll do the pack a punch, then the eggs, and then the swords, and then you'll upgrade the swords, do the flag step, a boss fight, and then the final full egg. Another option I like in this menu is unlimited beast mode. One of the things I had on the list to try for this impossible Easter egg was go into beast mode, go to the higher up platforms, and just look around. We know that this Easter egg is not interactable, but say if there's something hidden up high that only you can see in beast mode, that could be a possibility. To access the unlimited beast mode, you select the personal mods and then go down to map mods. And then within that menu, you'll see the option to toggle on infinite beast mode. And there might be other menus in the workshop that let you do this, but his definitely covers that also. Also, I want to let you know that I've gotten some information about the impossible Easter egg. I interviewed the guy that interviewed Jason <laughs> and I got some information and it's definitely worse than we thought. This is going to be a lot harder now that I, now that we know more from this guy. So yeah, I'll get that video edited and put together and we can just kind of wrap our heads around this new information. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully this will help some of you guys out and you'll be able to enjoy this menu as well. And we'll see you next video.